Hey, hey, good morning. Welcome to day two of the September reset, which I failed kind of last night. I had wine and I'm really regretting it. And um, I knew I was gonna regret it. And my husband even said, I thought you said you were done with wine. And I was like, oh, but nighttime came. You know what it was too, is I was out of my routine because we were out my, um, hey Yvonne, my, um, and hey Betty, what am I trying to say? My oldest, what just happened? Um, I'm not sure, am I upside down you guys? I don't know why my video is like that. Anyways, I'm going to start, is my, on my phone, I'm upside down. <laughs> Oh, I kind of got to fix this if this is not right. Uh, is my camera okay? Could someone, let me know you guys. If it is, I'll just film like the way it is. Is it normal or is it because mine flipped around? I don't want to record the whole video sideways if... Uh, Nope, that's not. It's, camera's good, okay, okay. All right, like, let's just restart that. Okay, we're starting from the beginning. Okay, I'm good. You guys can see me. I am really messed up on my end, but I'll just do my thing. Okay, so twisting, loosening up the spine, loosening up the hips. Oh, it's a lot more humid this morning. I'm not gonna lie, like I really enjoy the cool, crisp fall mornings and evenings, and they're coming. I know they're coming. And then before I know what, I'm gonna be complaining that it's too cold. So I guess I should just deal with and appreciate this while it lasts. But Grayson's just started his new season of baseball and yes his old season just finished on the weekend <laughs> no, no rest for the wicked you guys um so he had his first official practice last night his practices are from nine till ten like my friend kathy um heard girls danced and that's like was normal for them i feel like they actually went even later but it's like you get home at 10 20 10 30 and then i can't just go to sleep like i can't just wind like I need some downtime so it's like it's going to be midnight nights a couple nights in the week which I feel bad for Grayson because he actually has school at 8 a.m. like he has to get up at 6 something to get ready for school his bus comes at 7 09 which he's not used to last year last year he went to school at 10 <laughs> that was a COVID thing but anyway so and then my younger son had his banquet last night and then so a lot of just like I just I knew my husband was gonna to want to talk and I'm like I just wanted to go <laughs> oh and I so I, I didn't even have any so I did go get some and it was not it was not meant to be I should not have had that wine and I had the wine it's okay we all slip right you guys we all fall we all make mistakes no point in dwelling and punishing myself and honestly I'm not into like full-on mode yet but I'm super excited because I told you yesterday I was like working on this new oh I have so many ideas like my mind is it's problematic <laughs> when I don't have a focus on something because my brain just goes into like overdrive uh, thinking about ideas anyways I'm starting my trail group um, end of September and I have so many fun ideas for it. And I'm hoping, because I know a lot of you live far away, like Yvonne, you live in <laughs> very, very far away, Netherlands, and Betty's in Hamil Hamilton, and Darcy, I'm not actually even sure where you are. Um, I know that you've told me, but I'm blanking right now. Um, my shirt's going to keep riding up and it's going to look like I have no shorts on, but I do have shorts on. My, my laundry was not clean 
or dry this morning, so I had to pull out some old, old, old shorts. <laughs> um, was it? Yeah, so I'm really excited to ex expand into some kind of virtual community via Strava and like Facebook as well, of, of course. So that is kind of on the horizon or on the future plans. Jen Sharp, same thing, like Lisa. Um, the goal is to create the community. Um, I'm gonna start, start small with my local group, local people, and then expand out onto the online community is my hope. So, so that's, so I've been working on that, um, kind of playing around with my own goals for next year, which I'm super excited. And then working on, I think I shared with you my big kind of longer term goal is to have offer um, retreats. So retreats would be local-ish in that they would be, I'll probably start around here, but potentially move out into, um, you know, drivable places like maybe Quebec, maybe Halbert and Jen, like maybe Halbert Forest as a retreat. The retreats, the idea will be to combine the strength training, the running, the mobility yoga, healthy eating, connection, and mindset, like into like a, a weekend. And then and then beyond that, create ex an experience. So there will be the trail groups and community, there will be the retreats, and then there will be the experience. Experience will be something kind of epic, the epic, boundless, epic experiences. So Grand Canyon is one of my thoughts, taking you know, a group to Grand Canyon, you know, training them, preparing them, teaching them, right? So one of the things I wanna do with the trail groups is teach people to become more self-sufficient on the trails, um, teach them how to get around the trails, like find their way around. Um, that's something I actually am not that good with I'm learning and I learned a lot this summer when I had to well I did a lot of training that wasn't races right so I did a lot of training where the routes were I had to follow a route my own with my own kind of devices uh, when I was in Utah I was lost right I couldn't find the actual route and so to learn how to figure how to figure that out I had to learn and then with my recent race, the course was marked, but it was marked very sparingly. And so we were told, strongly encouraged, to have this app with the course on it. Um, and we had to, to refer to that. And I referred to it a number of times when I wasn't certain if I was on the right. I remember the very first night that I was running, um, the trail was probably very obvious, but, the, but we were in kind of like an open, sort of rolling, like, uh, I, don't wanna, I don't know what to call it, but anyway, it wasn't a trail through trees, it was an open kind of rolling trail, and there was offshoots of the trail, and probably in the daylight you could see that those offshoots weren't trails, they were like lookouts or, you know, dead ends. But at night you couldn't see that. So, and there was no markings. And so, and I was, I really didn't want to do more than 210 miles if I didn't have to. So I constantly kind of referred to the app um, to see, you know, make sure it's going the right direction. So I really learned how to use that app. And so my goal is to teach people, you know, to use that app to learn how to be a little bit more self-sufficient teach people ultimately some survival stuff. Because um, it's just important, if you're gonna go out on trails, you know, I think it's important to remember there's always a risk. You know, you always want to have 
on you. Um, adequate supplies in case you sprain your ankle. Like, and I have done that. <laughs> I've done that on the trail. Luckily, I wasn't, luck, luckily for adrenaline and I don't know what else to call it, because the second I was finished, it ballooned up and I couldn't walk on it, but I was able to get out of the trail. But I remember when it happened, my concern was, holy crap, like we're not even halfway, there's no exit plan. There was no exit plan, right? Like, there's no exit, sorry, not plan, option. There is no exit option. Like, barring Ontario Parks coming to get me, and the only way they could get to me, which I don't even know, through, through the trails. Like, they can't just come pick you up. <laughs> um, so you, you, you have to be, have provisions on you in case, you know, I'm not moving now for 24 hours until somebody comes to get me. So you have to have a bivy, to have an ability to start fire if it's going to be cold. Right? You have to have extra clothes. You need to have water and, and food on you um, in case, right? And why doesn't that apply to day to day runs? Like it should, because if you're out, even in my local trails, you're three kilometers in, something happens. Heather and I know you've had this happen before and been able to hobble out, but like. What if you can't, right? And you don't have, when you're running, you, you underdress because you heat up an awful lot. And if you don't have the, keep, like the, the clothing and the provisions to be still, um, you're, you're in big trouble. Okay, so we're gonna do sets of tens today of an upper body, upper body, um, Posterior chain, that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna grab a few things here. I'm gonna challenge myself to some heavier weights this week. Um, so we're gonna work through eight exercises that will combine back, front, arms, core, okay? Um, you know we're gonna be doing rows because because I love rows, you guys. I love rows. And I'm going to go around this way. So you don't need a bench. You don't need a fancy bench. You can use the floor. You can use a table. Probably you can use the step. If you're short like me, you can use the step. Um, all right. So we're going to start with deadlifts, but I'm going to grab a drink of water first. How's everybody doing? You guys are good, eh? Um, you can see me. I'm, I'm normal on this camera. Camera's good. Okay. Because I'm upside down. Or sideways. But. The other thing that I want to teach people when it comes to trail running, but not, this isn't just for trail running. This is for running period. And this is just for life. And you guys, I'm preaching to the choir here, but, but you got to strength train. Nobody wants to strength train. I don't want to strength train. You know what? I'm feeling kind of chatty today. So I'm actually going to use the timer. All right, and let's see how many, how many we actually get. Because if I'm, okay. So chest is up and you're pulling. You want the weights between your legs. So notice that they're kind of in, in between my feet. I don't want you to squat. I want you to bend. I want you to hinge from the hips. I want your chest, I want you to think boobs out. If your boobs are out, and then I want you to think about cocking your butt. Is anyone counting? I'm not counting. I meant to count. Okay, next up, the problem with this is we gotta keep moving. Now, we're gonna do tens. I'm gonna go back to ten, change my mind again. I just have to try to chat and count. Okay, so now we're gonna do rows, alternating. Okay, so you're in a bent over position. So you don't, this is what you don't want. You want the butt cocked, chest out. You can't, I mean, you can, I guess, but if you really think chest out, you're gonna kind of cock your butt, pull that belly in. Alternating, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna go over to the bench, the floor, whatever you're using, we're gonna do 10 rows each side. 
Um, I don't like strength training. Nobody likes, well, some people like strength training, but those aren't usually runners. <laughs> I know that we don't want to strength train, but I, if you, if you are, you need to do this even if you're in your 20s, but none of us are, <laughs> and it makes it more vital. And here's the thing, if you want to run and move through life in a healthy manner, you need to strength train. Like, if you want to be able to lift your groceries without putting your back out, if you want to be able to play with your grandkids without putting your back out, 10, 9, 8, 7, you need to strength train. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the thing is, strength training isn't just about strengthening your muscles your bones, your joints. It's not just about the strength, it's also about the mobility. Most of the movements that we are in throughout life are very short and, and lack range of motion. So whether you're walking, whether you're running, or they're in balance, if you're golfing, you know, you're golfing from one side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And how many of us injure ourselves in the sport that we're trying to play? No, we don't. Most of us injure ourselves walking down the street or picking up our groceries. Um, okay, so we're going to go to presses, so 10 presses. And that's because of the lack of range of motion and mobility and strength that we have in our body. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's five. And then we're going to add bicep curls. And the reason is because your body is so, like, just not in good, <laughs> it's not resilient, essentially. So the least little thing can, like, you know, it's like driving around with an air, air in your tire and then, like, something, like, that's probably like the worst analogy ever, but anyway. Okay, bicep curls. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're doing push ups next. Should have done push ups first. I'm really not in the mood for push-ups today. And I love push-ups normally, but anyways, it's not about my moves, is it? Um, the other thing is mobility. So strength work and mobility. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Was that 8? So we did deadlifts, rows, 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 presses, bicep curls, push-ups. Now we're going to do core. We're going to do 10 sit-ups. I mean, I am in a sit-up mood. Okay, so 10, 10 sit-ups. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, I'll tell you something else. Four, we all work out at least a little bit for vanity, don't we? I mean, be honest. <laughs> we, we want our efforts to help us look better. And in order to change your body, so we're gonna rest for a second and we're gonna do that set again. You have to build muscle. Like you have, that's the only way you can change your body composition is through the acquisition of more lean body tissue. You can't do it through just burning calories. You're gonna do it more profoundly, um, more noticeably. Like the more muscle you have on your body, the more calories you burn at rest. So the more lean you are like the, so if you just run, um, you're relying on the like just burning of calories. But if you strength train and create more lean, like get rid of, some fat, um, 
reduce the fat on your body and then maybe increase the muscle a little bit, you're gonna burn more calories at rest. So you're kind of, your body's always working for you. Um, you're gonna look healthier, but most importantly, you're gonna feel healthier and you're gonna move healthier. You're gonna be a lot more resilient to the challenges and adversity of life, basically. <laughs> All right, so that's kind of my goal is to help runners incorporate you don't have to go to the gym three times a week and pound out like I had learned how to incorporate it into my life so that I don't hate it which is through the online community that I've created you know the Tuesday nights the run group will have to do a short 15 20 minutes you don't have to do a lot but if you can do consistently like the daily move the daily moves are, are huge over the course of a year so that's five, I think, five, four, three, two, one. A little done consistently or regularly is will make huge changes. So the other thing is mobility work. And I wish I could become, you know, a rep for this lady. <laughs> or some kind of affiliate, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just a consumer of the, the um, daily, no, yoga. Uh, what's it called? So 10 pulls, um, down dog, the down dog cap. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but I honestly think that for me, that has been a game changer. Why? Because I can do 10 minutes a day. I, I really like, I just like her and I like the way she teaches and I enjoy it. It's almost like a meditation and yoga in one um, and stretching in the whole bit. But you can actually choose kind of your style. So I choose gentle. And how long? I usually, I usually choose the lowest, like 10 minutes. And then what body part you want to work on. So you've got really tight hamstrings or you've got tight, tight quads, you've got lower back. You can choose 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The other side. So you can choose. Like yesterday, my lower back was, I could feel how tight it was. I focused on lower back. Often I do hips. You can do neck and shoulders. You can do, when, before my race, um, when I was having all my anxiety, I did breathing. It was so enjoyable, you guys. Can't even tell you. Four, three, two, one. Um, I focused on the breathing one. So to do that 10 minutes a day, it can become your meditation for the day. I know Heather has done what I did is made it into her morning routine. Like you wake up, you have your glass of water, because I recommend glass of water first thing in the morning, 10, nine, ideally room temperature with lemon, six, five, four, three, two, one. Um, and then you do your do you do your 10 minutes of mobility, boom, then it's done. And it's just an amazing way to start the day. Set your mood, set your tone, set your intentions. Like I'm really a big believer in I like to call it visiting our dreams. Like every single day. Four, five, I don't know if that was actually five. Five, four, three, two. One, I think it was. Hopefully, you guys are counting. <laughs> um, visiting your dreams every day. Like, what is it that you want? A, that's how you manifest stuff, you guys. That's how you bring stuff to you. The easiest way to move through life is to work with the energy of the universe and have what you want come to you. I mean, really, truly. And the only way you can do that is by <coughs> putting out what it is that you want to come to you. What I learned. A couple years ago, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one, is that you get what you think about whether you do it intentionally or not. So you're always thinking about worrying about debt, worrying about expenses, worrying about your bills. Guess what you get? More bills, more expenses, more debt. <laughs> if you think about money coming in, money shows up. If you think about wine, <laughs> You have wine. <laughs> Three, two more, two. You have to think about what it is that you want. And so one of the ways to do that is by, you know, spending a few moments each morning. I like, I'm really a big fan of doing it first thing in the morning, last thing at night. Bookend your days with your, with your dreams, right? With your asks, with your, what you want from life. If you want to feel peaceful, um, confident, like you spend five minutes envisioning you as your best self. What does that look like to you? If you are only ever thinking about all the things you dislike about yourself, those things stick around, don't they? Like, I had this thought yesterday that, like, how our mind works, we set a goal, right? So we're like, like I'm just picturing the, the, the classic person saying, Jocelyn, I need to lose 30 pounds. Okay, great. How can I lose 30 pounds? My, my, my wonder, <laughs> my question yesterday was like, have you ever thought what you 30 pounds lighter looks like, feels like, like who she is? No, we continue to picture and envision ourselves as we see ourselves today, right? And so what happens? That's the person that we remain. Even if you lose that 30 pounds, you gain it back, don't you? Like, would you even have any idea what, who you are at 30 pounds less? Probably not, because you probably never actually thought about that, right? So that can go for anything. Like, if, you know, one of my goals right now is like, I'd like to move to the country. <laughs> I'd like to move out of my subdivision. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These feel so good today. Nine, ten. Um, here's an example. You buy a Tesla. Your friend, your friend buys a Tesla. You're like, oh, that's so cool. Like, I've never really like looked or thought about Teslas too much, all of a sudden you see Teslas everywhere, right? Those Teslas were already they always there, you just didn't notice them. There's like a word for that, I can't think of what it's called, but it's like an actual um, psychological term. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't remember what it's called, but it's, it is an actual thing that, you know, you, you buy a pickup truck. All of a sudden, everybody's driving pickup trucks, right? Like, you book a vacation to Turks and Caicos. All of a sudden, it seems like everybody's going to Turks and Caicos, right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. It's about learning to kind of work with the energy of the world. So this happens, this kind of phenomenon is in effect all the time, like all the time. It's a matter of are you using it for you or are you letting it happen to you, right? Um, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, and most of us let it happen to us. And I did for years until I learned, right? And then, until I understood. And now it's like, I 
my goal is always to be at peace, calm, and faith with whatever's happening around me, which is an amazing way to live, you guys. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did we do bicep curls on our last one? I feel like we missed it. I feel like we missed bicep curls. Um, when you can have faith that like things are happening for you. So this is a stupid example, but last night we're at baseball. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're at baseball and I'm like, I want wine. <laughs> this is a really dumb example, but I decided, you know what, I want wine. And in my head, I'm like, no, you said you were going to stop. You said you were going to have wine anymore. <laughs> Wine's getting, getting put back away again. But I want it. No. No. I, I can have it one more night. <laughs> Just this one time. There's no reason. Like, Chris, let's stop on the way home. There's a store on the way home. We can get wine. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. He looks at me, kind of ignores me because I told him I wasn't going to drink wine. Uh, and then we switched children so he could stop at the store and get wine. I could take Dixon home and put him in bed. He shows up right behind me. He said, I didn't know you were serious. I thought you were joking. To sign number one, the universe is trying to help me out here, no wine. I said, no, I, I changed my mind, I want wine. All right, well, let's go, we can go to the superstore and get it. And I'm thinking in my head, this is ridiculous, we're both home, it's like 1040, three more because I lost track. I should just make tea and go to bed. Okay, let's go to the superstore and get wine. Sign number two of the universe. Sign number three was we get to the superstore, we go to check out. She says, this was that set two, that was set three, right? Okay, we're gonna do one more round. But I think that we missed bicep curls in one of the sets. I'm gonna do my yoga today after for a cool down too. Ready, let's do our, our bicep curls if we, did these and I'm losing my mind, forgive me. <laughs> we'll have just done some extra bicep curls. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna do one more round. We get to Superstore, we're lined up to pay. The lady says, can you go over to customer service? to pay for the wine because it's alcohol. Sure, no problem, go over to customer service. There's a guy, it's like 10.45 at night, returning something. Um, he was an odd looking character for sure. Like definitely not, I, I mean, I'm not judging. I'm just saying he seemed, he was all tattooed, which again, I'm not judging. He just, he just was a little bit odd, just trust me. And I'm like watching him and, and this return was taking forever. And I'm like, what is going on? And then I see he's returning greens. Of all things, he's returning greens. And then, and I'm standing there, I'm standing there, and I'm like, I hear you, universe. You're telling me no why. <laughs> Get out of here. This is the sign. I stood there waiting. I was like to Chris, like, can we? So we ended up going to another um, checkout lady that, that helped us. And he was returning the greens because he was he said that they made his hair fall. <laughs> Anyways, he was he was definitely a little bit um, of a character. So like my point of the story is I ignored all the signs of the universe, had the wine, slept like crap, you know, and I get I get I get the message, get the message, 
and that, that was me working against the universe. And what, okay, so the moral of the story is, not the moral, but the point I'm trying to make is, the flip side of looking at it, if I wasn't a believer of the universe having faith that it's guiding me in the right direction at all times, is I would say, the universe was working against me last night because it wasn't giving me what I wanted. But it was giving me what I truly wanted deep down. I just wasn't listening. So that's kind of what I'm saying is um, a terrible, like I said, it's a terrible example of things don't unroll the way we want them to. And we think the universe is against us or you know, the world is against us or whatever. But almost, well, I would say pretty much always, there is a reason why, you know, another example would be Dixon got cut last year from his baseball team and got sent down to a lower tier team. And at the time, I, and most of the season, I felt really victimized, or not me, but that he was victimized. I felt like it was unfair. But what happened was he had an amazing season. He developed, and he probably wouldn't have had he remained on that other team. Um, you know, everything, everything worked out well, right? Like, uh, everything always seems to work out for the best, even if at the time we're like, that's not how I wanted things to go. It's not how I wanted things to work out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You know, a lot of stuff happened with Grayson and some of his sports all worked out better than we thought and better than it would have had it gone the way that we expected, right? So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's my spiel for the universe today. But the, what I'm trying to get at is Make sure that you your thoughts are in line with what you want um, because that's what you're bringing more of into your life. Whether you believe me or not, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bicep curls are next. I didn't do my normal spiel that I usually do for you if you're a beginner, which is kind of late because we're almost done, but be sure to modify anything, change, adopt anything you need to for your level right now and for your level today. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And take breaks anytime you need to. You can see I am. <laughs> um, take breaks as often as you need to. My goal is for these sessions to be accessible to anyone and everyone. So in doing so, I need you to kind of meet me halfway and do things at your level and be okay with that. For knowing that you're gonna get stronger four, three, two, and be able to do more like as you continue to show up. So you might only be able to do push-ups from your knees right now. You might only be able to do five of them. You might only be able to do crunches instead of sit-ups. You might only be able to do five of them. But if you keep showing up, I promise you, you're gonna get better. You're gonna get stronger. You're gonna get more confident and you're gonna try the next level. And before you know it, you'll be doing the entire class and maybe you'll be better than me because five, four, three, two, and then you can, you 
you can beat me. You can do more in the workout. Okay, we're gonna finish with um, plank. We're gonna do our 30 second plank. We're gonna do our 30 second boat. So let me grab my timer. Okay, so into plank, I'm gonna do high plank today. So holding plank, making sure that your hands, sorry, your wrists, elbows, and shoulders are all lined up perpendicular to the floor, so they're stacked. Your chest is up and out, your belly button's pulled in, your hips aren't sinking, they're not raising. Your gaze should just be above, so just ahead. Sometimes what we do is we tuck, which cuts off you know, our circulation, or cuts off our airway, I should say, which is not helpful. Okay, rolling over into boat. So boat, you can shift. This would be easy. This would be harder. And hardest is low with your hands up. So several options for boat. We're holding for 30 seconds. <sighs> Breathing through it. It is humid. Oh my goodness. I know before long, I'm going to be complaining about the heat and the humidity. Okay, we're going to do our 10 squats. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. This is for our daily move. 3, 2, one, we're gonna do our 10 glute bridges. It's for our daily move community, so our daily move challenge. So those of you who are doing the uh, moves, all of them, this month, if you're just doing this month, is glute bridges. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We have 10 burpees. What am I forgetting? Anything, Betty? Let's do our 10 burpees. One, two, I know I haven't been doing, including the daily moves in the workout, but I'll try when I can. Five, five more, five, four, Three, two, and one. Lunges? Is lunges one of them? Am I missing anything, Betty? Did I miss anything from the... We have jacks. So core. We didn't do core. Jacks, burpees, push-ups, glute bridges, the walking you're on your own, uh, squats, <sighs> I'm going to call it there you guys, so if I forgot anything, do it right after, Betty will put it in the comments, have an awesome day, I'll see you, see you tomorrow.